Write this down. Mind what you say in your days of Mara. Watch your utterances. Don't allow your situations provoke or prompt you into negative confessions. Because your days of Mara, your confessions can determine your future. Your negative confession can prolong your Mana experience. You are going through a Mana experience. You say, what kind of thing is this? Sir? What kind of problem is this? It's good. In fact, does God really love me? God says, okay. Angel, what was to be the length of the experience? They say, six months. Say, make it one year. He has not learned. He will learn. The negativity, the utterances in your days of manner can either prolong your manner experience or make it never come to an end. Mind the things you say. In the realms of the spirit, we don't say what we are experiencing. We say what we are expecting. Spiritual men and women don't say what they are going through. They say what they are going to. This consciousness of, as they do person, when person talk, as they do person, it doesn't apply to the spirit realm. It doesn't apply to the realm of the spirit. We don't talk as they do us. We don't say the things we are going through. We say where we are going to. When somebody says, ah, money is very plenty in my hand. Stop telling me, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Say, talk as it be, talk as it be, talk as it be. That's what the Bible tells us. It says, let the poor say, let the weak say, the Bible never tells us, calling for those things that be not as though they were. He never told us to say it as it is. Never. He said, none of the inhabitants shall say, I am sick. Not because they won't fall sick. Don't say it. That's what the Bible says. Say to the righteous, it shall be well. Say to the righteous, it is well. When we say it is well, we know what we are saying. We are not saying it is well because we have many wells. We are saying it is well because no matter what we are going through, we know it's going to be well. We are speaking our future. And I tell parents, don't speak wars over your children because of their today. Your child is behaving stubborn. Don't look at the child. Say, see your head. See your head. Coconut. Your papa people, your papa people. That's what they be. No. You look at the child. In your pain. Say, you will not fail. This thing that the devil wants you to become, you will not become. I didn't give birth to you to hand you over to the devil. You'll be great. No matter this rubbish you are doing now, you'll be great. Stop saying what the child is doing negative. Say what the child should become. You hear some mothers look at their children. This thing you do me. You go bump picky. Your picky go. God forbid. Say in pain. No good parent says that. Every good parent speaks of the child's future. Speaks positive. Your child comes to the result you don't like. Tell your child, I, say, I know you can be better. You can read better. But listen, you, know, you, whether you like it or not. Some parents have used their mouth to damage their children. There are some of you that grew up hearing hurtful words from your parents. Am I saying the truth? Hurtful words. Useless. Useless. Yeah, yeah. Nonsense. Are you sure I'm your mother? Oh, God. God, what did, who did that offend? Hey, Mikina. Who did that offend? Over children that people are praying for. I wish I was talking to somebody here. Over children you, that you should speak blessings on. Mind what you say. That's what finished John the Baptist. In his mother, he said, Send to Jesus. Is he the one? Or should we expect another? John the Baptist was his own problem. John the Baptist was proud and arrogant. John the Baptist had this spirit of isolation. There are many people who think that spirituality means to be isolated. They think not talking to anybody, not greeting anybody, just moving on your own. That's what shows they are spiritual. 